Good morning. Um, I just woke up, but uh, I'm dedicating this day today to checking out Clip Studio Paint and I'd love to bring you along on the ride. So, but first coffee, cause I need to wake up. <laughs> Let's go. I really shouldn't be eating brownies in the morning, but my friend brought them yesterday. She baked them and they're so good. All right, now we're ready to talk about Clip Studio Paint. Why did I decide to make this video? Well, I've been using Photoshop for like 11 years now, which is a lot. And it is a subscription model, which means I have to pay them every month. I've also been using Procreate, which you only buy once and keep forever. Obviously, I prefer the second option where you just buy it and then you just basically use it forever and get access to all of the updates. But that is not the case with Photoshop. And to their defense, they are really good, like really, really good. And so what you're paying for essentially is a professional software that you can use in the art field. But what about those artists who just love painting whenever, whatever, like once a week, just to relax, or even if you paint every day, but you're not currently making enough money to pay for the software, or you're not making money with art and you just are looking for an affordable option. Well, I heard that Clip Studio Paint is actually pretty, pretty good. And um, I just wanna see for myself how true that is. And also if, when you know how to use Photoshop or Procreate, can you just start painting with Clip Studio Paint and not worry about anything? Or like, do you have to learn from other tutorials or from their stuff? Like how easy it is to understand for somebody who's been using Photoshop for a while. So that's what this video is about. I am hoping for grand success and I hope I'll fall in love with the software and I can use it in future, but it could also turn out to be a grand failure where I'm, maybe I don't like the tools, maybe it's just too complicated. Well, I'm interested to see how it's gonna turn out and I hope you stay tuned until the end to see it with me. There is a 30 day trial for Clip Studio Paint. If you wanna give it a go, I will leave a link down in the description so you can check it out for yourself or just buy it if it's like on sale or something. They kind of have sales quite often so you can keep your eye out on that. And yeah, let's, let's just go guys, let's go. <laughs> My baby's sleeping in the background and we're actually going to dive right in. So I opened the Clip Studio Paint website and it is the only place where I allow myself to look before I download and install their software. So I'm just gonna quickly browse and see maybe I find something interesting or some hint of something cool that maybe I wouldn't have even guessed coming from Photoshop or Procreate. Okay, so the first thing is they have something called Clip Studio Assets, and there's apparently 1,000 new materials every month. I'm gonna check that out. So from what I understand, there's a whole library of resources where artists can share their own resources and then set them for free or as a paid thing where you can pay with points, gold or clippy. I'm not really sure how that works, but it's good to know. Wow, there's something called AI colorization where you just kind of draw the colors in some shapes where you would want them to be and then somehow technology colors it for you. I feel like that could be a good starting point and maybe will help speed up the process. So I'm definitely trying that one. So it seems like it is heavily focused on also animation and comics or manga. Uh, it is something that I don't quite do. I'm more into painting myself, but while looking at these tools, I think it'd be really fun to explore with it. So even though I purchased the cheaper option where you don't get all of the tools, I might change that in the future when another sale comes around. Okay, so I briefly skimmed through this. It took me like two, three minutes just to read a little bit from their page. It seems like there's a lot of features packed in there, but I'm not gonna look any further. I just wanna dive in and see for myself how that's gonna work. 
well, my friends, it looks like a lot of buttons and tools and everything, and it kind of feels a little bit overwhelming. Um, but I already start seeing that a lot of them are basically the same as in Photoshop. So let's just see if I'm right. But before I do that, let me grab my pencil and my glove. I'm so confused right now. It was on the floor. So, so far it looks like a lot of the things are very similar to Photoshop. We have the pencil and the paint section, the colors and the layers. Um, also the navigator, but that's as far as I got to for now. There's some interesting smudging going on here. Okay, I looked around and I think it will take time to learn everything, but it's actually so much like Photoshop or like Procreate or like any other software that I've tried in the past. So I'm very excited to actually start using it. And of course, I feel like if you're watching somebody who's been using Clip Studio Paint for a very long time, they know what brushes to use, what kind of process they have. And for me, somebody who literally just opened it up, this is going to be a little more challenging, but I'm I'm pretty excited. So I will find a reference image and then let's see how it goes. So I really want to try the AI colorization, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm supposed to do it on the same layer as the linear or not. So let's just see. So I definitely think that once you pick up a brush and start experimenting with it, you will get to like the process. And I'm really, really liking the gouache brush. I am starting to understand how to use it so it behaves in a way that I understand and that I can work with. So that being said, I wonder if there's any like foliage background brushes that I can use to speed up the process for the background of this painting. I'm going to go look in that vault that was mentioned on the main page of Clip Studio Paint.
All right, so the piece is over and I just wanted to quickly tell you my final ideas and my final thoughts. So there are pros and cons to clips to do paint. For example, the cons that I found were that if I hold on the eyedropper tool or, or the eraser tool, it doesn't always switch back to the brush and that just makes me click the keyboard again and it slows me down and makes me think it's not necessary. So I wish that was changed or maybe I'm just doing something wrong. So if I am, let me down, down in the comments below. And another one that I found that was quite annoying was when I press B for brush, it goes through three different kinds of brushes or something. If you know how to turn it off, please let me know because that was super annoying as well. And yeah, I just wish that that wasn't there. At the end of the day, I found that there are so many good things about Clip Studio Paint. For one, you get to choose your size of the canvas, pixels, DPI, all of that, the colors. You have the layers, you have almost all the tools that you have in Photoshop. And I say almost because I wasn't able to actually go through all of them and check everything. Yeah, but there's a lot of different things that are very, very helpful, like the flip canvas. There is a shortcut for it inside the software and other things that you as a digital painter, you as a digital artist, you know you need. And with Photoshop, it's like so many different fields are using Photoshop that it's kind of hard to have it focused on digital painters, of course, because we have photographers, graphic designers, so many people use Photoshop. So I feel like this one is more niche, so they're able to put the things I and you love in a way for us to be able to find them easily. So that's a huge pro. Of course, another pro is the pricing. It doesn't even compare close to Photoshop because, you know, subscription, pay forever versus buy once and keep it. By the way, the 30 day trial, the link is down below if you want to check it out. I think you can create amazing professional work with this software 100% and I'm really liking it. So I'm hoping to try more of it. Maybe I'll create another video if that's something you guys are interested in. Let me know your ideas down below in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed it, please like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content like this and hit that bell button so you don't miss any of the future videos. Um, yeah, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, and before you go, check out these playlists.